Hi guys, this is Faraz and today I will be solving the actual snap questions of quants. So in this video, I will be covering module 1 and module 1 consists of percentage, average and ratio questions. So guys, this is part 2 of the module. I hope you have gone through the part 2 already. In case you haven't, please go and check out the part 1 of module 1 as well. So in this video, there are 8 questions and all of them are very important and has a very high probability of appearing in the SNAP exam this year as well. Question number 5 we have 1 liter of water is evaporated from 6 liters of a solution containing 5% salt. The percentage of salt in the remaining solution is Option A 4 is to 4 upon 9 it is in mixed fraction guys again 5 5 upon 7 percent this is also in mixed fraction Option C 5% and the last option is option D 6%. Now guys this is a very interesting question. These type of questions if you are not familiar with this will take a lot of time in the real exam because you think that you will be able to solve this question but you need to know the trick behind solving this particular question. So again I would urge you to pause the video right here. Take your own sweet time but make sure that you get the trick behind solving this question and you solve this question accurately. But don't worry in case you're not able to solve i will be solving this question for you so let me explain this question by taking x percent that is the remaining salt in the solution so that has been asked in the question that is percentage of salt in the remaining solution now i know that x percent of 5 liter is equal to 5 percent of 6 liters why because 1 liter of water is evaporated from 6 liters of a solution containing 5% salt. So x% percent, that is the remaining salt in solution of 5 liter will remain same irrespective of 1 liter being evaporated that is 5% of 6 liters. So in this question water is evaporated the content or the percentage of salt remains same but 6 liters becomes 5 liters so the percentage of salt will definitely increase therefore when i solve this i get x upon 100 into 5 which is equal to 5 upon 100 into 6 when i solve this question i get the value as 6 percent hence the correct answer will be option d that is 6 percent so guys in this question we know for sure that the percentage of salt will be definitely more than 5 percent because 6 liters has changed to 5 liters so the content of salt that is the percentage of salt in the solution will increase so a and c will be definitely wrong so you have an option between b and d so this can be also used to solve this question in a much faster way so let us move on to the next question question number six we have if the numerator of the fraction is increased by 200 percent and the denominator is also increased by 200 percent then the resultant fraction is 14 upon 5. So we need to find what is the original fraction. Let us have a look at the options. Option A 4 upon 7. Option B 13 upon 12. Option C 11 upon 12. And the last option is none of these. So guys this question is based on the concept of fractions and percentages. It's a pretty basic question. Just assume the value of fraction by taking the numerator and the denominator use this hint and try to solve this question this is the first statement this is the second one i'm sure you will be able to solve this but at the same time try to have a look at the solution as well so now in order to solve this question let me assume the numerator as x similarly let me assume that the denominator will be y now the original fraction will become x upon y now from the question it is given that numerator of the fraction is increased by 200 percent so whenever anything is increased by 200% it is nothing but into 3. If it is increased by 100% it will be into 2. So please make sure that this conversion of percentages into multiplication of numbers is very handy and you know all of them. So the numerator will become 3x that is it is, has been increased by 200%. Similarly denominator of the fraction is also increased by 200%. So the new denominator will be 3y. 
that is the new fraction will become 3x upon 3y that is nothing but x upon y hence the original fraction is equal to the new fraction that is x upon y which is nothing but equal to 14 upon 5 hence the correct answer is option d none of these guys you need not solve this question even because from the question itself you should be able to mark the right answer because the numerator and the denominator has been increased by the same percentages hence the original fraction will be equal to the resultant fraction and this none of these is just there to confuse you because the right option is not matching among these three options so please be very careful of these type of questions be very confident in answering such questions so for this question the answer will be the original fraction that is 14 upon 5 and none of the option matches this answer therefore d none of these will be the right answer let's move on to question number 7 question number 7 we have what is the value of 1 upon 2 is to 1 upon 2 of 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 divided by 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 of 1 upon 2 is option a 8 upon 9 the next option 2 option c 4 upon 3 and the last option option d is 3 now this is a simple question based on the concept of ratio you have solved a lot of questions based on the concept of ratio also apply the board mass rule I have given you these two hints. Please try to solve this question on your own. I would request all of you to pause this video right here and try to solve this question on your own. But just in case if you are not able to, you can have a look at the solution as well. So let me solve the numerator part here. That is this particular part. So solving the numerator part, I get 1 upon 2 is to 1 upon 2 of 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2. So as per the board mass rule, that is brackets of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So of is here, I will be solving this part first. So 1 upon 2 of 1 upon 2 is nothing but 1 upon 4. Now 1 upon 2 is to 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2. Solving this particular part, I get 3 upon 4. Solving this particular ratio, I get the value as 2 upon 3. So my numerator part is equal to 2 upon 3. Similarly, solving the denominator part over here, I get 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 of 1 upon 2. So again, I will be solving this particular part first as per the board mass rule. So I get 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 4. Now simply adding these two fractions, I get the value as 3 upon 4. Now numerator upon denominator, that is 2 upon 3 divided by 3 upon 4 is nothing but 8 upon 9 hence the answer is 8 upon 9 therefore the correct answer is option a that is 8 upon 9 let's move on to the last question of the video question number 8 we have two numbers are such that the square of greater number is 504 less than 8 times the square of the other if the numbers are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 we need to find what is the number. Let us have a look at the options. Option A, 15 and 20 are the two numbers. Option B, 6 and 8. Option C, 12 and 16. And the last option is 9 and 12. So guys, again, I would like you to pause the video right here and try to solve this question. If you're not able to solve this question at all, you can also use these options to solve the question. But that will be the worst case scenario. Let me solve this question for you and explain what is the right approach in order to tackle such questions. We know that the numbers are in the ratio of 3 is to 4. Therefore, let me assume that the numbers are 3x and 4x respectively. So the 3x is to 4x, the ratio of 3 is to 4 is intact. That is, these numbers are assumed correctly. Moving on, I know that square of the greater number, that is, 4x square is nothing but 16x square is equals to 504 less than that is minus 504 8 times the square of the other that is 8 into square of the other number is 3x so 3x square is 9x square therefore the complete equation will become 16x square is equals to 8 into 9x square minus 504 now this is the ultimate solution of the question Solving this particular question, I get 504 is equal to 72x square minus 16x square. 
that is 56 x square is equal to 5 not 4 the value of x square is 9 after solving the value of x i get x is equal to 3 hence the two numbers will be 3x that is 3 into 3 9 and the larger number that is 4x will be 4 into 3 12 therefore the two numbers are 9 and 12 hence the correct answer is option d that is the numbers are 9 and 12 this brings me to the end of the video i hope you really like the session and the way we have solved each and every question so please make a note of all the small tips tricks and shortcuts we have used to solve these questions at the same time practice more questions like these and always time yourself when you are practicing such questions give more mock of snap exams that will help you to build your own strategy in order to score very well and finally all the best to you guys I'll make